The goal is to see what the customer is interested in. And if you create something that the audience wants when they're searching for this long tail keyword phrase, that's literally how you make sales in a niche, right? Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, I wanna show you guys the cool new feature that Merch Informer came out with. It's called the Niche Hunter. Really awesome, I wanna kinda of do an overview, kinda of give you guys a better idea how you guys can use this feature to take advantage of how people are searching on Amazon and stuff like that and give you a better insight of it. Let's get straight into the content. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up too, by the way. Yo, yo, what's up guys? So I am logged into the back end of Merch Informer. This is the dashboard right here. We're gonna come down to Keyword Cloud, all right? And then we're gonna go down to Niche Hunter. And this is freaking awesome. You're gonna see right here, January's top ranked keywords. Boom, it's huge right there, right? And then you come down here, it has the categories and you can literally go by shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, or pop sockets. In this case, we're going to do shirts. They already just did the search for us, so we don't have to press that. And then as we go down, it's going to show us keywords, right? And this is big because these are exact keywords that customers on Amazon are searching for to find these products over here, all right? Now, the idea behind this is not to copy any of these designs because it's not how you make money, right? The goal is to see what the customer is interested in and figure out a way you can make a design for this niche. I have created several different designs for niches that no one has those type of designs, right? And those ones are like my top sellers, right? They make me the most money on print on demand, merch by Amazon in general. And then it pretty much applies to every single other platform. But this is huge because it's telling you the search volume for the month. And then like that exact phrase of the keywords are searching to find the product and that's big, right? And I, I definitely do want you guys to take a little bit of time to understand that because these exact phrases, of course, you have to make sure that you're not doing anything like, like this Kobe Ryan shirt, don't do this. Okay, Stranger Things, don't do this unless you have like the rights for those actual, um, or if you're allowed to use these actual designs, right? And if you have the, the rights to it. Disney shirts for women, don't do that, okay? You don't wanna get your account terminated by doing this type of type of designs for these companies, right? And then you go over to page two, you're gonna see a, a ton of more keyword search phrases, right? Funny Christmas shirts, right? You can see how, how powerful this is. Of course, if you're unsure about these keyword phrases right here, the long tail keyword phrases, you want to research them, just a Google search away. You can just go over here and search and, and see, you know, can you design for something like this? You wanna check for trademarks, copyrights, all that cool stuff. Boys Christmas shirt, right? For example, let's say Shamrock shirts for women, okay? People are searching for this phrase, right? And you can see over here that these shirts are coming up. Okay, and that is very powerful. Now let's say we do like a product search over here. So we're using these same, these exact uh, Shamrock shirts for women. We're gonna do a search for that. Okay, let it populate. Give it a little bit of time, do, do, do. All right, competition score. It's going to be an A, all right. Um, as we come down, you're gonna see these different types of design. This is cool because it kind of filters everything out for you as you're going down. Instead of using like the Amazon search, because sometimes it just shows up unrelated products sometimes because they're testing with the algorithm, but then it shows you like different types of uh, related keywords in here. This is really cool. Merch Informer is doing this over here. This is really freaking awesome. Oh! One lucky mama. You're gonna see like simple text-based designs like this. Look at this, this is, <laughs> you know what I mean? So as you come in here, the idea, the goal behind this is to get creative. Think of something unique and different, okay? from your competition, because these, these are of course your competition. If you can create something by just doing research and it does, because if there's more competition in the niche, it's going to take more work. So you understanding that it's gonna take more work is gonna create less competition for yourself. And if you create something that the audience wants when they're searching for this long tail keyword phrase, that's literally how you make sales in a niche, right? So it may take a little bit of work and a little bit of research, but I just wanted to show you guys this feature, really, really big Merch Informer's part, and it's really awesome. So guys, I want you guys to imagine that you created a design that is ranking, say Christmas shirts for women, and it has a search volume and you're ranking on that front page for 156K, okay? That is huge, right? The search volume is going to be crazy and the amount of sales that you're going to get is going to be amazing. So just imagine that. And this is how powerful this feature is with Merch Informer. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you guys get any value. And of course, I have my affiliate link down below in the description.